Hey, what's up guys? This is Russ Ward. And what I want to share with you in this video is a new way of prospecting and um, demoing one of the coolest new features of high level and selling it to local businesses. So the idea I got was a combination of two gentlemen that I met at the high level summit. And I'll show you who they are so you can check them out. First one is Jeff Lopez, a super, super um, smart guy. Uh, he was so sharing at the summit. He shared exactly what he was doing, and I'm going to show you part of what he taught us. And then the other guy is Tom Gaddis. I met Tom at a breakout session. Super cool guy. I jumped on a Zoom with him just to learn more about what he does, and he gave me some more, more insights as well for prospecting. So let me show you what I'm doing here. So I like to work with roofing companies. I've got a lot of good success with these guys, and um, I've got them really good results. And what I did was I went to the Facebook ads library, and this is what Jeff Lopez taught. He said, go to the Facebook ads library and find out who's running ads in your niche and then sell your services to them and do it in a specific way. So if we go to the Facebook ads library. Uh, I just looked up a local contractor here that I knew was a decent sized company. And we're going to go with all ads and we're going to go with um, SCM roofing. So it's a company here in Tampa Bay. And you can see that they're running ads over here, right? And it's been running since September 3rd, so that means it's probably working if they've been letting it run this long, right? And that's what I started out with, right? So then I looked up their contact info, and I created a workflow in high level. So when I load them into the system, I'll just show you what I got here for them. Um, basically, I don't have a contact name, but I have their email, I have their phone number, and that, and I have their website down here, right? So what I did, and this is what Tom Gaddis recommended, was actually make a Loom video and go to their go to their website, and make a Loom video of you talking about it. So this is their uh, website, SCM Roofing, very nice website. But you'll notice they do not have a chat widget down here, right? Uh, so what I did was I went out and I looked at other businesses in the Tampa area, other roofing companies, to see if they had chat widgets, and I could only really find one. It was this one here, and. It was just a very basic, give us your name, number, and a message type thing, the, the old school way we used to do it with high level, right? So what I did was I made a custom video for this company, and I made it on a demo. So I, I made it just a very basic demo site, and I made a high level chat widget that actually says their name. So I'll go ahead and play with it just for a second, just so you can see what it is. Thank you for contacting SCM Roofing. This is Jessica. How may I help you? Hey, Jessica, can I get a quote for my roof, please? Absolutely. I'll get that started for you. May I have your name first? Yeah, my name's Russ. Thanks, Russ. Can you give me a rough idea of the square footage of your roof? Yeah, it's about, uh, I'd say like 2,800. Thanks. Based on what you've shared, your estimate would be around $16,800 total. This is a rough estimate and the price could vary based on materials used, damage to your existing roof, and a variety of other factors. Let's get a professional out to confirm everything. Would you like to schedule a time to have one of our techs come out and inspect you? And then she goes on to schedule an appointment with you. So anyway, this is something these companies have never seen. And something I've been repeating to people for a while now is, yes, we all that work in the marketing and AI fields, this is normal to us, man. We play with it every day. It's still cool, but it's not nearly as cool and mind-blowing as it is to somebody who's never seen it. So what I did was I made this video for SCM Roofing. You can see I made a video here. Uh, it took me about four minutes, and basically what I did was I went over their site. I went over to the other site. I told them we could have this installed uh, as soon as tomorrow. And then I set up an automation in high level. I'll show it to you. And this automation is very simple. I just call it Loom Email Prospecting. And basically when I add them to it, it adds a tag that says Loom Video Sent, creates an opportunity, and then it sends them an email. So what happens in this email is very simple. At the very top of the email, we're pulling in the Loom video. Now you can't see it up there because it, it's a uh, custom field, right? So if you look at this, video URL, um, custom Loom video, and then we have for the thumbnail, we have a thumbnail. The other thing I did was I went to Canva and I made a thumbnail for it. So this is a thumbnail template. So it's going to be custom video for, and then I'll just drop the logo on there. And so now whenever it went out, this is actually what it looked like. So if I go back to my opportunities and you'll see, I've been testing it here. 
it sent them an email that looked like, this is the demo I sent to myself. It says, has the thumbnail I made with the video. I made this video to discuss a very important aspect of your business you might need to consider. If you're interested in learning more and how I can help, just reply yes. Cheers, AI King Russ Ward. And I've edited this since, but I just wanted to show you what it was. So then when they click the little thumbnail that I made, it just kind of pops open and there's my video, right? And if I really wanted to be fancy about that, I could turn that uh, Loom video into a trigger link to let me know that they clicked it and I could trigger a workflow and all the kinds of other stuff if I really wanted to. But this is just like the beginning stages of this. Now, I know this looks like a lot of work to you know, put into basically cold calling through email, but as Jeff was pointing out at the High Level Summit, if you go after people who you know are already running ads, they're gonna value ads, right? And you can tell them, hey, I know you already have leads coming in, why don't you just look at my system that's going to actually take what you already have coming in, it's going to work with them better, and it's going to make you more money from the leads you already have, or something like that, right? So Jeff Lopez helped me with that. Tom Gaddis helped me with that. And uh, I, I really, really appreciate these guys. But this is what I'm doing, and I just wanted to kind of prove the concept, build the little system for it. And now what I'm going to do is have my VA start building this stuff out. I don't know if I'm going to have the VA actually make the videos, but I'm going to have her say we'll do, I don't know, 10 or 20 of these tomorrow. I'll have her make 10 or 20 of these um, thumbnail images, upload them to high level, and then give me a list so we can make it really, really easy. And we can just have this thing as automated as possible. It's just going to be me basically going through um, websites, showing the demo, and then um, telling them, hey, would you like this? And we'll see how it goes. If they do not reply to the emails or if they're not delivered or whatever, I'll just follow up with a phone call. And I'll be like, hey, I sent you an email about some cool new thing that we're, that we're doing. Uh, promise it won't waste your time. So uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to report back how it works uh, specifically for people in my group because I like to do type things like this with you guys. And, um, you know, you can try it and we can all talk about it and how, how we can do it better. So anyway, if you have any questions on that. If you have any questions on how to actually build this widget down here, because it's pretty easy. I made a video about it. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, I think this is going to be the cool new thing to get your foot in the door with businesses. Ultimately, I'm not trying to sell this widget. Probably what I'll do is like a $4.97 setup fee and $1.97 a month, something like that for it. But ultimately, I want to sell them a bigger package, a higher ticket package, something like $10K, right? Because, um, you know, recurring phase of bills, but... The bigger ticket, the higher ticket stuff is what really takes us to the higher levels. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. I just wanted to share this with you guys and uh, see what you think.